What's up guys? How you doing? It is Lastly here. Welcome today to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Review. Let's take a look at an inform from this week's Team of the Week uh, who plays in the Premier League. He goes by the name of Gilfie Sigurdsson. So, the Icelandic player plays for Swansea uh, and he has gone from a default central attack in mid to a striker in form. He's only got 70 pace, but he does have 82 dribbling, 85 shooting and passing, which is pretty decent. He's only got the standard three star skills and weak foot as well, but he is six foot one. So I'm hoping we can do something and utilize that height a little bit as well. Uh, first squad option for you guys today would be something like this. It's like a 4-4-2 side, uh, French League on Serie A, a bit of Premier League as well, utilizing the strong links on the game. However, I just stuck him in a pretty nice looking Premier League side. It's got lots of hard workers such as Dembele and Kante. And then of course special items in Payet, Sterling and the player of the month Hazard as well. So when we go ahead and go in and take a look at Sigurdsson's in-game stats. His physical stats are typically ones which let him down somewhat. You know, they are those yellow or orange stats. Not too quick, um, not too strong, not too agile, that sort of thing. Uh, but his skill stats really come into his own. He's got great like ball control, dribbling, finishing, free kick accuracy is off the charts. Uh, and I decided to go with the hunter chemistry style because I knew that would bring his pace up to 82, giving him 83 acceleration and 81 sprint speed and I was hoping that that would help us out because that seemed to be before even playing a game that seemed to be the one area where I thought I might struggle with this player uh, he doesn't look particularly quick uh, and of course being an out and out striker on his own I need him to be able to rush past the defenders so moving on then to the pros and cons for the player we will get the negatives out of the way first um, I did actually still struggle a little bit with that pace I have to say even with the, the Hunter chemistry style, the pace boost didn't seem to help out too much. Uh, he didn't feel like a 70 pace striker, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, I do like to use the quicker players on this game. And I definitely noticed a bit of an issue there. His agility and balance were also relatively low stats. And I think this really goes... Um, just, it just goes on top of the fact that his pace isn't that great. So, he sometimes feels like a, a bit of a clunky striker. A bit bulky, a bit sort of... Come on, man, just just move, just get off the mark type of guy. Uh, and it can be somewhat frustrating sometimes. Um, but then if you play your cards right with this guy, you'll just get in the right positions and you'll be able to take the shots from there. And you won't really need his pace, which is definitely a good thing. His skill moves also let down a little bit by only being three star, but he does have decent dribbling and ball control. So you can quite happily use like the no touch dribbling, that sort of thing. Uh, and you'll get into nice positions that way. Uh, or just play like, you know, standard football. Pass and move with this guy. Don't worry about anything tricky and you'll be all good. So we did get quite a lot of goals with this player, but it was a lot of hard work, I would say. Um, it was almost like... Hold up play, like this particular goal right here, I could have run through with Hazard, but I wanted to get the goal with Sigurdsson. So we sort of held the ball up enough so that he could slowly run on into the box uh, and finally get there. You know, so that sort of thing is maybe what you'll be doing with this guy if you use him. Showing his free kick stats uh, with that goal right there, a beautiful free kick. He does have insane stats in that department. You definitely have a set piece taker for your squad um, in, in Sigurdsson. He is ridiculous at free kicks. I think I hit the bar twice uh, and scored one out of out of you know the five games or so that we played, which is pretty pretty good. You know, I, I normally hit free kicks way over the bar with any player. So for him to get them on target and score some goals is decent. Um, his positioning was great. I, even though he's relatively slow and I said sometimes I was waiting for him to catch up with the play, a lot of the time he would have started that move and the ball would have been played into his feet in a decent position. He can then offload it and then carry on with his run that sort of thing um, and he is a great creator I would almost say that he would be best positioned as like a cam or a center forward uh, maybe not that default out and out striker and maybe if you did play him at striker it might be best to to stick him next to someone small and very very fast so they can work off of each other finally his shooting is fantastic he does have great stats in that department you can bang some long shots in you can finesse it around the keeper anything this guy's capable of it so I would recommend Gilfie Sigurdsson. It's not the most positive review in the world because it did feel like hard work getting the clips for this guy. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I would probably recommend stick him in a, a, a cam position. Central attacking midfielder. I think he would do wonders 
for your Premier League team if played there. So there you have it. Let me know down below in the comment section below if you do use this guy and how you get on with him. I'd be interested to know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.